All right, so we're going to go into our third layer of watercolor here. I've got my painting. It's relatively dry, the earlier layers. And what I'm really going to focus on um, with this layer, since I haven't included it yet, are the bushes and the trees that are near the front of my picture. So if I'm referencing my landscape photos, one of the things that I want to do is look at the colors and consider how those colors can inspire my painting. If it's not the same, that's OK, because again, you might be combining multiple different source images. Um, but it is useful to give us a place to start with. So I'm going to start with some more purple and pink. But my trees are also darker. Um, in real life, in natural lighting conditions, they would probably be green. So I'm going to make sort of a more neutral brown that's mixed with these. So I'm going to clean my brush and then go get some brown paint. And again, it's always, always a good idea to test your colors, uh, not on your painting. So maybe I'll start with that. I can always make it darker uh, from here. So I'm sort of just starting with where my brush would be. So right now my trees are extremely pale, sort of ghostly looking. If we want them to be darker, we can add more layers of watercolor on top as we continue to paint. And I'm not neglecting adding the shadows that I'm creating also to my reflection. So I'm making sure that what I paint up here is also reflected down here in the lake. Maybe I'll also go in and mix a little bit of this with some blue and glaze over my buildings a little bit more to make them more match with the color scheme of the rest of the painting. <laughs> 